<clears throat> let's do, let's start with your question of the day. All right, up until this point, you guys have read about the mutations and that introduction mutations um, assignment, and then you guys also previewed examples of eight different mutations around the room yesterday, all right? Based on what you already know, because I haven't technically, we haven't covered this in the lecture yet. Based on what you already know, what is your answer to this question? Are mutations always bad? No. Exactly. Oh. I said no, because some mutations, like blue eyes, curly hair, et cetera, don't affect your physical health. Good. All right, so he pointed out <laughs> some mutations, like you guys previewed yesterday, like curly hair, red hair, if your cat has an extra toe, right? None of those mutations necessarily affect your physical health. You guys did see some examples of mutations that are harmful, like station six that um, involves cystic fibrosis, but good, pulling from yesterday, not all mutations are harmful, all right? Common misconception when somebody hears the word mutations, that's why I wanted to ask you guys that ahead of time. Common misconception when you hear that word, you're gonna automatically 